There are so many different ways in which to add a MailChimp signup form to your WordPress website. In fact, MailChimp's very own plugin that they have. And also you can use MailChimp's very own embedded HTML code that you can add to your website. But I prefer plugins. And for a while I've been recommending MailChimp for WordPress, but I wanted to take a look at Yikes plugin, Easy Forms for MailChimp. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get started. So we're going to be adding the plugin by Yikes Easy Forms for MailChimp to our WordPress website. Now, when I say WordPress, just a caveat here that I'm talking about WordPress.org and not WordPress.com. In other words, you have a self-hosted WordPress website. So over on our Add Plugins tab, we're gonna click over here to search, and I could just do a search for MailChimp, and you'll see the many plugins that there are out there for MailChimp. And we want to scroll down here to this one right here, Yikes plugin, easy forms for MailChimp. The big plus with these types of plugins like MailChimp for WordPress and Yikes easy forms for MailChimp, you can set up numerous forms on your website with different tags. We're going to click on install now and then click on activate. Once the plugin has been activated, you'll see a new admin menu called easy forms. Our first stop is to go to settings so that we can connect our API key from MailChimp to Easy Forms so that they can talk to each other. And Easy Forms can pull in some of the data from our mailing list. And so anyone that signs up will automatically add it to our mailing list. They have a little handy link here that goes to API key. You can right click on that and open up a new tab so we don't lose our spot. It'll load up our API area in our account. Scroll down here, you'll see that I have two API keys. Uh, one for the MailChimp for WordPress plugin. And here's the new one I created for the Yikes plugin. I was testing out the plugin previously, so I've revoked that plugin so we can start from scratch. So I will create a new key. I'm gonna name it Yikes plugin two. I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard. As you see here, MailChimp has updated this that you'll never see your API key again. So copy it to a safe place. And that way, if you need to go back and get it, you'll have it somewhere stored safely on your computer or somewhere else. But for us, we've copied it. We're gonna click done. I don't care if you guys see it because obviously I'm gonna be deleting it right after this video is created. So let's go back into our settings, paste in our API key. I'm gonna keep the default for nonce validation on this site and click on save changes. You'll see a green check mark here and it'll say connected. Our next step is to go to create a form. So if we scroll down here, back to our easy forms menu, We'll go to opt-in form. See, we have no form here created. So we're gonna go ahead and create a form. So over on the right-hand side here, we're gonna give our form a name. So this is gonna be sidebar form. So it's gonna be form for signups to the newsletter located blog posts. This is your own internal description. Right, our next and most important step is to select which list this form should be associated with if you have more than one list. If you are on a paid account, you have the option to setting up numerous lists. So we'll select strategic marketing solutions as our list and click on create. So we have our new sign up form. Now the next step is to go and add our fields for our form. So they walk you through step by step how to do this. So they're going to say, hey, we've got a whole bunch of fields that we've taken from your audience list settings from this list, the security marketing solutions in this case, what fields would you wanna to add to this form? So we do wanna have email address and we'll do first name and we'll click add to form builder. And you'll see here we have email address and first name. We can drag these. So we want first name first and then email address. You have two options to update the form here and over here on the right hand side. Our next step in creating our form is whether or not we wanna have interest groups I don't have any interest groups associated with this list other than character type. So I could do that here, but that's hidden from the form. So that won't really make a difference. More importantly, we can do tags and we can create as many forms as we want on our website with different tags. So we wanna add our welcome tag all the way down the bottom here and add to form builder. You can add more tags, but for me, one tag is enough. So we've got our form our simple form is set. Well, now we're gonna go over to our next tab here called form settings. Now, if you have additional CSS classes that you wanna use on your form, you can do that here. If you wanna have an inline form so that all of the 
fields and the submit button go in a straight line. You can do that. But since it's for the sidebar, I don't want that. We can change the submit button. We'll do subscribe today. And we also can add in an image to replace the submit button. And additionally, we can do submit button classes. So if you don't want the default Yikes CSS, we could do our own. And I think I have a class called button. We'll try that there. Additionally, you have form restrictions. Do you want to schedule this form to be only out on certain days? And once the end date and time have passed, users will no longer be able to sign up for your mailing list. So you could have it as a, an event type of sign up so that if the event passes, people won't be able to sign up. You can also have it so that a login is required. So let's say you have a membership website and you want people to sign up for a special thing for members. So they have to log in first, then they can sign up for it. We'll leave those blank for now. Let's go to the next tab, custom messages. So by default, you have a double opt-in turned on. And then these are the default messages that Yikes gives you. Now you can go in here and change them. Change them means that you have to start typing and it will replace what you have already here. For instance, I can type in here and see how it just disappears. Thank you for subscribing. Check your inbox for more detail. So you can go through these and set them up as you wish. One of the other things that they do have here is a custom profile verification email sent to resubscribers. I was having some difficulty with this, not difficulty, but it was very clunky, extra steps, and I turned that off. And to turn those things off or on, like double opt-in, you go over here to the right-hand side to opt-in settings and see how it's double opt-in by default. I'll turn that to single. And here it says update existing subscriber. You could say yes or no. I have it as yes, but then the yes is also to send an update email, which where it got a little clunky. What I'd rather have it do is not send another email for someone to update their profile. Instead, just tell people that they've already subscribed and their information has been updated. So I think that's a lot smoother <laughs> than doing the double emails. So check your opt-in settings here. So we've done the form builder, we've done our form settings, we've done our custom messages. And again, you can go in here and change these because now that they've changed a little bit. And then we're gonna say update form. So it's gonna take all of our changes, update the form, and then we have a short code right here for us. Copy the short code. And now we wanna go add it to our sidebar. So we're gonna go over to our widgets. I've already got a custom HTML widget started and I'm just gonna click on that down arrow there, open it up and paste in our short code and click save. Now with that done, I'm gonna open up a incognito window. So we get a fresh page from our server. And then here is our new widget that we just created. Subscribe to the SMS newsletter. And it did take my button class. See here, this is matching what's on my website. We'll enter in our name, enter our email address, and we'll click on subscribe today. And it says here, we got the message that says, thank you for already being a subscriber. Your profile information has been updated because this email address is already in the, as a contact on my audience list. If we go back to edit form, another option that you have under submission settings is whether or not to use Ajax, so you get those little messages on the same page without requiring a page refresh, which is very nice. Now you do have the option to redirect on a submission. So if you want to, you could redirect to a page or a post with a, like a thank you page. Let's say people are downloading a PDF or lead magazine or some type of workbook and you're giving it away for free for the sign up. You can go in here and select the page. So you're gonna go through all the posts here, but you can scroll down here. In fact, I think you could probably type in here, uh, thank you to get to the thank you pages that I have here. I don't know which one is which, but we'll select the first one. You can also open the redirect URL into a new window if you chose. And then you can hide the form after sign up if you wanted. And you can also replace or update existing interest groups if you had those associated with your form. So that's good to know. So let's try that out. Click on update, go back to our page here. We're gonna hit refresh on our page and we'll type in our name again and see if it'll redirect us. You still got the message that you are updated and then it took you over to the thank you page. 
where it says your prescription has been set up successfully. Obviously not the right thank you page I was thinking of, but you get the idea. Under the associated list settings, you can select which list you want for this form. So you can switch it on the fly if you wanted to. Also, there's an integration here with Yikes that it will show the list in your WordPress website. So if I click on view list, it will show the three email addresses that I have on this list. Additionally, on the dashboard, Yikes has a MailChimp list stat. And again, here's that view list where you can see all the email, address, the email addresses that are on your list right inside your WordPress admin. If you want to turn this off on your dashboard, go to screen options and select MailChimp list stats and it will go away. Let's turn it back on. Now, if you're interested in learning more about MailChimp, Here's this video right here. And if you're looking to learn more about another plugin that I've mentioned a couple of times in this video, MailChimp for WordPress by a bear code, you can check out that video right there. Thanks as always for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.